I see this as a necessary response by any responsible administration in Barbados to uh, a so to a global issue that has been thrust upon us because in many ways, Barbados cannot afford to lose its reputation around its international business sector. What is not so clear is whether implementing the changes and also we have, we are introducing a system of rebates and other measures which are designed to reduce the effective tax rate for some of these companies if they make certain investments. Whether these changes, along with other issues that the OEC have, whether they will automatically get us off the blacklist, I don't think so. But I think sometimes you have to play the hand you are dealt with. And if we didn't make these changes, then our chances of getting off the blacklist would have been reduced significantly. So at least making these changes does still keep us on the playing field. Terms such as a qualified domestic minimum top-up tax, and under tax profits were all shared with the public. And these are concepts that are likely foreign to some of our corporate taxpayers. There are also some questions that ICAB will have that are not addressed in the ministerial statement. And we would therefore want to engage the Ministry of Finance and other stakeholders before we provide our guidance to the business community.